Edison said that success is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. And that talks to this idea of execution, quality of execution. You see, I see it time and time again where the people that can often win are the people who just execute better. I would rather you have an average idea. I'd rather have you, you had a great idea, but if, if, if you just have an average idea but with excellent execution, that's going to take you much, much further than an excellent idea with poor or average execution. So when we talk about execution of our ideas, what do we actually mean by that? Well, I think it all comes down to this one word, constant. Constantly creating great work. Constantly communicating and sharing that work that you're creati creating. This idea of doing it in a constant fashion. So not do, just doing quick spurts, but actually constantly really delivering. And that, so when we think about in terms of the idea of the creating part, you're watching this just now. We have an editorial calendar, my team and myself. So we, we know that every week we're going to be producing three episodes, three guest episodes for the podcast. And we know we're going to be creating a video like this where I'm going to be talking. Now we don't know uh, exactly what's going to go in each each of those episodes and each of those, those posts but we do know that we're all as a team and I, me as an individual I'm committed as a creative to doing that work but that's not enough because if it was just enough to constantly be creating work then there'd be lots of people that would be very successful as creatives you have to do this other part of it which is constantly communicating the work that you're doing and and campaigning the work that you're doing and I use that word campaigning deliberately and it's different from promotion you see, let's say if, if you have a, you're an artist, you have a new exhibition happening. A promotion is where you just put out press release saying, XYZ artist has this exhibition, please come. That's a, that's a promotion, that's a one-off event. Campaigning is where you're thinking over a longer period of time in order to get people to this event and get people to see your work and to experience your work. And you're constantly planning out promotions that you're gonna do over a period of time to get people to that. So it's a much longer and much more strategic way of thinking and it requires being constant, constantly thinking about how to communicate the message of the event and, and about you and, and your brand as a creative. Now, all of this requires having certain routines and it, it, re it requires a certain commitment to your, your craft and to your art as well. Because the thing is, being creative is a marathon, not a sprint. You know, there's there's lots of these artists, we see them every day, creatives every day, who come along and it's just a quick thing and then you never hear from them again. I, I don't want you to be like that. I want you to, hopefully, you're watching this and you actually care about having mastery of, of what you do, whether you're an artist, a writer, a musician, an entrepreneur, whatever, whatever the creative work is you're doing, you have a commitment to really developing your, your art and your craft. And to do that, you have to be doing it on a constant basis. This is what I would suggest to you just now. Think about in terms of the creation of your work, how can you become more constant at constantly producing work? Then on the communication part, how can you find some way of, of constantly communicating the great work that you're doing? And it could be as simple as ensuring that you're doing a weekly or a monthly newsletter. It could be ensuring that maybe you do something like this. You do a, a video once a month where you're explaining the work that you're doing or, or your, your creative process if, if you're working on something. But please remember, execution will often beat ideas. Uh, ideas are great. There's no lack of, I lack of ideas in the world. But if you can become great at executing, you'll become known as being prolific as a creative and an artist. I would love if you're watching this and you're not at jamestaylor.me, to go to jamestaylor.me and leave your comments about how you find a way of being constant as a creative. Thanks for watching. Hi, it's James here. Did you enjoy that episode? If so, there's two things that we can do to continue the journey together. Firstly, I would love if you were to subscribe, give us five stars and leave a comment. Secondly, if you go to jamestaylor.me and enter your name and email address, I'm gonna send you some free goodies all around creativity and innovation. Look forward to continuing the journey together.